Hello, everybody. This is Michael. In this video, we will talk about what's LVGL, why we need LVGL. Okay. So first, let's go to LVGL official website. LVGL.io. This is the official website. Okay. So the full name for the LVGL is Light and Versatile Graphic Library. LVGL is a very popular free and open source graphics library. It can create a beautiful UI like this. So why we need the uh, LVGL? What's the feature? of the LVGL. Let's take a look at the feature first. So this is the feature for the LVGL. The first thing, is, of course, LVGL is open source. It means uh, we can see, modify, compile, and debug all the code. Okay, We can fully control our code, fully control the LVGL source code. Okay. Second, LVGL is free. It under the MIT license. MIT license. It means we can use it in any commercial. Uh, we can use it in any commercial projects. Okay. So next, let's take a look at the LVGL hardware minimal requirement okay for these uh, requirements uh, what we need to focus is RAM the LVGL minimum need these size uh, this bytes RAM the second important thing is the fresh it need around 100 KB for LVGL okay this is two important uh, minimum requirement for the hardware. Okay, RAM and fresh. Okay. So next, let's take a look at the UI features. The first thing is the LVGL has lots of uh, widgets. It includes uh, all kinds of widgets here. For example, the calendar chart, checkbox, keyboard, message box. So we can easily uh, use these widgets to create our application, okay, to create our uh, embedded assist GUI, okay. So next, the LVGL use the vector graphic way to rendering to rendering the UI so make it very smooth very smooth very beautiful okay and the widgets has all kinds of styles uh, over 100 style we can certain different color different folks uh, shape and uh, so make our uh, make our GUI make our GUI has the unique uh, outlooking for different application okay so this is stylers style next is the layout uh, it use the flex layout and the grid layout and the simple and light layout. It is similar like the CSS layout style. Okay. And the next, it support multiple language, all kinds of language like this. Okay. Japanese, Korean, and many other language. And the next transformation, it support 
we can it support the rotate uh, rotate the widgets and scale scale the widgets. Also, when it do the uh, transform later, it's very smooth. Okay, it's very smooth. Next, uh, scrolling. When the widgets children uh, out of the widgets boundary box, uh, it can scrolling like this. No need special setting. No need special setting. Okay. And the next is uh, display for driver. Uh, display for driver. It support uh, partial refreshing, double, double buffering, and many other display for display model. Uh, display more. And it also can um, support multiple display. Okay. The last thing is uh, input device. The input device is our uh, keyboard, keypad, touch panel, something like this, joystick. Okay. So this is a feature for the LVGL. Our lessons will focus on three parts. The first thing, of course, is the visuals. We will, uh, we will setting the visual property, event, and all kinds of other stuff to learn how to use all kinds of visuals. Second is for the display. Okay, it's for the display. The most important will show the LVGL interface on the LCD. So we will learn how we display all the graphics on the LCD based on ESP32. Okay. The last thing is the input devices. We will learn how to uh, integrate the key, keypad, joystick for our project. Okay. So this is this video. I'm Michael. See you next time.